right have you ever noticed the formation of verdigris on copper plate if it is not used for a long time are all the metals like this can you see the gold is ruined like this when we use it no right but why does iron corrode as well as the copper vessel lose its luster by the formation of verdigris we know that this happens because metals such as iron and copper react with air and moisture in the atmosphere but when we use gold for a long time we can see that it does not fade or perish let's see why we are going to do an experiment let's see what is the experiment we have to take equal amount of water in three beakers then we have to put equal pieces of sodium magnesium and copper to each beaker what can we see which metal reacts vigorously we can see that sodium reacts very quickly with water but what about magnesium and copper they does not react with ordinary water right so sodium reacts very vigorously with water but magnesium and copper does not react with water now let us repeat this experiment with hot water by using magnesium and copper we can see that magnesium reacts very fast in hot water but copper does not react in hot water either so of these three metals that is sodium magnesium and copper sodium reacts rapidly with ordinary water but magnesium does not react with water and magnesium reacts rapidly with hot water and copper does not react with cold water and hot water so from this we can infer that sodium is the most active or reactive metal so among sodium magnesium and copper sodium is the most reactive metal then Did you notice the formation of a gas when sodium reacts with water which gas is formed as a result of the reaction yes it is hydrogen gas so let's look at the equation of the reaction sodium reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen 2 na plus 2 H2O gives 2 NaOH plus H2. So we can say that generally metals react with water to form metallic hydroxides and hydrogen gas. Clear? So among sodium, magnesium, and copper, sodium is the most reactive with water. then magnesium and the least reactive is copper okay let's do another experiment cut a piece of sodium with a knife and observe the cut surface we can see a shiny appearance on the surface and this property of metal is known as metallic luster okay If you look at the cut part after a while don't you see that 
the shining fades with time yes this is because of the reaction of sodium with atmospheric oxygen water and carbon dioxide sodium reacts with oxygen water and carbon dioxide to form its compounds let's see the equation of those reactions first sodium reacts with oxygen to form sodium oxide that is 4na plus o2 gives 2na2o na2o is the sodium oxide then this sodium oxide reacts with the moisture content that means water to form sodium hydroxide that is na2o plus h2o gives 2 naoh then this sodium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide to form sodium carbonate and water that means 2 naoh plus co2 gives na2co3 plus h2o so this is the reaction of sodium and its compounds we have a picture here do you see the pictures of magnesium ribbons one has shining appearance and the other one is a faded one then magnesium ribbon loses its luster when kept exposed in air for some days this is because of the reaction of magnesium with atmospheric air magnesium reacts with atmospheric oxygen to form magnesium oxide and which appears as a coating in the surface of magnesium ribbon so what is the reaction yes magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide that is 2 mg plus o2 gives 2 mgo that's why it is said that the magnesium ribbon should be cleaned with sandpaper before use for what yes in order to remove the coating of magnesium oxide then i will ask you a question what is the logic behind saying that wood ash should not be used to clean aluminum utensils we know that aluminum utensils have a aluminum oxide coating on its surface and we know that ash is alkaline in nature so when we apply ash it reacts with aluminum oxide coating on the surface of aluminum utensils so we should not use ash to clean aluminum vessels then haven't you noticed the formation of verdigris on copper vessels it can take months right this is also because of the reaction of copper with moisture and carbon dioxide in air the copper reacts with moisture carbon dioxide and oxygen in the air to form a mixture of copper hydroxide and copper carbonate and this mixture of copper hydroxide and copper carbonate is the verdigris that appear on the surface of copper vessel that means 2 cu plus h2o plus co2 plus o2 gives cu oh twice plus cu co3 cu oh twice is copper hydroxide and cu co3 is copper carbonate and this mixture is the word degrees okay now i will ask you another question does the shining of gold fade even after a long time we can see no change in the gold 
even if used for a long time. Why is it so? Because gold does not react with atmospheric air. From this it can be seen that metals react with air at different speeds. So, among magnesium, copper, gold, aluminium and sodium, which metal lost its luster at a faster rate? Yes, sodium. That means, sodium is the most reactive metal. Then comes magnesium, then aluminium, then copper and the least reactive is gold. So, from this we can infer that different metals have different activity or reactivity. So, there is more to learn about the properties of metals. Let us see it later. Bye. Moon lecture the Lerever in the Chodi Trangle, eight to Unkuranjil Sondamakuan, wouldn't turn it down, Lord Chayu. Yen Claps, the learning app.